Hi, my name is Sasha Biharilal and I am a candidate attorney at PPM Attorneys. Today I'll be talking to you about papaya and your rights with regard to marketing and what marketers need to know. Privacy is a fundamental human right, but it's easy for businesses to disregard this right when they need to market their products and services and they have access to a database of potential clients. We have all received emails about products and services that we have never signed up for or have been hounded by telemarketers. Due to the nature of marketing, papaya affects marketers to a great extent. Section 69 strictly prohibits direct marketing by means of unsolicited electronic communications unless you have given your consent to the processing or you are a customer of the responsible party. The responsible party may approach you if you have not previously withheld your consent and may contact you only once to request consent. Further, a responsible party may only process your personal information if you are a customer and it has obtained your information in the context of the sale of a product or service for the purpose of direct marketing of its own similar products or services. It sounds like a mouthful because it is. For example, if you have an investment with a bank, the bank having received your information may use it to market similar investment services to you. However, if you had the opportunity to object to the use and collection of your information and you have not done so, a marketer may lawfully process your information. The Act provides that marketing communication must contain the identity of the sender and the option to unsubscribe or opt out of receiving marketing communications. In addition to papaya, Section 11 of the Consumer Protection Act states that a consumer may either refuse to accept or block or require another person to stop communication, which may be considered to be direct marketing. Therefore, marketing communication must contain an opt-out clause. Section 71 of Papaya deals with automated decision-making. Essentially, unless certain requirements have been met, you may not be subject to a decision which results in legal consequences for yourself or which affects you to a large degree, which is based solely on the basis of the automated processing of your personal information. So, to summarize, consent is of absolute importance. You need to give your consent to receive marketing communication. You must not be pressured into giving consent. You may only be contacted once, and if you are an existing customer, there needs to be a proper opt-out clause. Further, decisions that affect you substantially cannot be made by an automated process. You have the right to deal with people. For more good, clear, precise advice, contact us.